Hello students, welcome to Top Scholar, the smart learning app. So today we are going to solve a few questions which will help you with your NEET exam in the subject of chemistry. So students, the question here is, we have to identify the correct IUPAC name of the following compound. And we have four options. Option A, 3,3-dimethyl-1-cyclohexanal. Option B, 2,2-dimethyl-3-hydroxycyclohexane. Then option C is 3,3-dimethyl-1-cyclohexanol. And the D option here is 1,1-dimethyl-3-cyclohexanol. So let us see how we are going to answer the question. So here, as we can see, the structure is a cyclic structure, right? So we have to determine the IUPAC name accordingly. So we can say that it's a cyclo ring. And we can find that the OH group or the alcoholic group is present. So we will start numbering our cyclic structure from the same position. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 carbon atoms. So it's a hexane ring structure or a hexane cycle structure. So from this we can say that it's a cyclohexanal. And the alcoholic group is present into the first carbon position. So we can say it's 1 cyclohexanal. And on the third position, we can see that methyl group are added. So we have CH3, CH3 into the third carbon position. So hence the name comes out to be 3,3-dimethyl-1-cyclohexanol. So for this, the correct answer will be our option C, 3,3-dimethyl-1-cyclohexanol is the IUPAC name for the given structure. So here in this question, we have two statements. Let us look at the first statement that your hydrogen has some properties which is similar to the alkali metals. And because it is having the similarity, uh, the outer electronic configuration that is your NS1. The second statement says that hydrogen is shot by only one electron to the corresponding noble gas configuration of the helium gas that is your 1S2. Now let us look at our options. Option A says that both of the statements are incorrect. Option B says that both are the correct statements. Option C says that only statement 1 is correct. And option D says that only statement 2nd is correct. Let us see how we are going to answer the question. So hydrogen molecule. Now the, it is said that it is having a property which is similar to your alkali metal due to the similar outer electronic configuration. So alkali metals also have the same electronic configuration as your hydrogen that is your NS1. And the second statement which is given to us that is also similar because the hydrogen molecule is only shot by one electron. If it will be having that electron it will be compatible for the noble gas configuration that is of your helium that is 1s2. So both our statements which are given to us those are the correct statement. So here our correct answer is option B that is both are correct. The question is that there is a compound X. So in a compound X number of nitrogen atom that is N it is going to make a cubic close packed lattice, okay? And Y number of metal atoms, what they are going to do? They are going to occupy one third of the tetrahedral voids which are present in it, okay? So we have to use the formula for the compound form by M and N and the value of X plus Y we have to determine with the help of that formula. So we have four options, A is eight, B is five, C is 4 and D is 2. So how we are going to answer it? First, we are going to take the number of nitrogen atoms that is N which we have to uh, determine okay, for CCP that we are going to take it as X. We will label it as X. So from that, we can say that the number of tetrahedral voids which are present that will be twice of X because the number of nitrogen atoms is X. right? So, from the n atoms and the tetrahedral voids which is 2x, we can say that the number of m atoms, that is your metal atoms which will be present into the compound, that will be one third. It is already given to us, okay. It is one third of the tetrahedral voids which are present. So, tetrahedral voids is 2x. So, one third of 2x will be the total number of m atoms which are present. So, if we have to take the ratio of the number of n to m atoms, Okay, how we can do this is for n atoms we have 
the value as x okay we have x number of n atoms and how many m are present it is 2x by 3 right so 1 by 3 into 2x with this comes out to be 2x by 3 so this is how the ratio can be explained so if we do the arrangement and do the reciprocal we get the answer as 3x by 2x so simply just 3 will be going into the numerator to simplify it x x will be cancelled and you get the answer as 3 is to 2 so the ratio of n to n atoms into this molecule that is into their ccp is 3 is to 2 so the formula for the compound which comes out to be is m2 n3 therefore if we go for x plus y because that is what you have to determine we have to determine the x plus y value of the formula so it comes out to be 2 plus 3 and the answer will be 5 so the correct answer for the, our given question and we have the option B that is your 5. So here the question is which of the following option contain addition polymers? Option A polyethylene, option B PVC, option C Buna S and option D is all our addition polymers. So here in the case of an addition polymerization reaction what is happening? The molecules of that particular same monomer they are added again and again so that we can get a long chain or a large scale to form basically a polymer out of it right that is what a polymer is the chain of monomers so here the monomer which is used uh, is unsaturated compounds for example we can use alkydenes and their particular derivatives and we have products such as polyethylene polypropylene then we have pvc acrylene buna s and butadiene which are all the example of the polymers which are made from different monomers which are of your alkenes and alkylidenes and their derivatives as well so here the correct answer comes out to be option d because all the three are the example of addition polymers so the question is what will be the state of hybridization of your carbon 3 and carbon 6 in the following hydrocarbon structure so in this structure we have to determine what is the state of hybridization of the carbon at the third position and the sixth position so we have four options sp3 option b is sp option c is sp2 and sp3 option d is sp and sp2 so let us see how we are going to answer the question so now when we want to determine the state of hybridization of a specific position of a carbon so it majorly depends on the number of sigma bonds which are present so what is a sigma bond sigma bond you can say that it is a very strong covalent bond okay so the strongest covalent bond is your sigma bond so the number of sigma bonds which are present into the whole structure that will help you to determine the state of hybridization so here we have to determine for the carbon at third and the sixth position in the given hydrocarbon so if the number of sigma bonds is equal to 2 then your hybridization will come out to be sp so two sigma bonds equal to your hybridization as sp so if the number of sigma bonds is 3 you can say the hybridization is sp2 and if the number of sigma bonds is 4, you can say that the hybridization is sp3. So now let us look at the structure. So this structure has a various number of bonds which will be present. So in this position right over here, you can see that there are two sigma bonds which are present. So you can say for this carbon position or the second carbon position, the hybridization is sp. For this carbon position, Okay, so there are four sigma bonds, one, two, three, and four. So there are four sigma bonds present into your third carbon position. So for this carbon, the hybridization is or the state of hybridization is sp3. For your fifth carbon, you can see there are three sigma bonds which are present. So for this, the hybrid state of hybridization comes out to be sp2. And in this carbon, that is in your sixth carbon position, you have four sigma bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4. All of these 4 sigma bonds are present and you can say that the hybridization state comes out to be sp3. We had to determine for carbon 3 and carbon 6th position. So it is sp3 for both of the carbons. So our correct answer will be sp3 on the basis of 
hybridization for C3 and C6. So here the answer is option 